This might be the next deep seek moment. A Chinese company just released another open source model called Kimi K2, and it is taking the industry by storm. The reason this graph right here, this is the training loss curve and People are so surprised by how smooth it is. Typically, you get all of these spikes in here, which cause issues that you need to correct. But for Kimmy, it was almost flawless. And the especially cool thing, it is based on a trillion tokens. That is a massive model. So they came up with this new approach that they implemented and it worked. Very similar to how DeepSeek was insanely efficient, more efficient than we had really ever seen before. But that's great, it trained really well. What does that actually mean? Well, first of all, it is a massive open source model that performs incredibly well. Kimi K2 is a state-of-the-art mixture of experts language model with 32 billion activated parameters and 1 trillion total parameters. And here's the key, it's trained with the Muon Optimizer, and it achieves exceptional performance across frontier knowledge, reasoning, and coding tasks while being meticulously optimized for agentic capabilities. So it is incredibly good at coding, incredibly good at multi-agent, and incredibly good at tool calling. Pre-trained a trillion tokens on 15.5 trillion tokens with zero training instability. They used this Muon Clip Optimizer at an unprecedented scale, developing novel optimization techniques to resolve instabilities while scaling up. And this model is specifically designed for tool use, reasoning, and autonomous problem solving. And according to Crystal, who is on the Kimi Moonshot team, Kimi supports up to 2 million tokens in the context window. And she said the entire lab, the AI lab, is only 200 people. So the Kimi website doesn't support it directly yet, but they have tested it. There was a little bit of quality loss, but it is very possible. So we have two versions. We have the base and the instruct, but you know what we don't have is the reasoning version. And you know what? Now that it's open source, everybody has their hands on it. Lots of reasoning versions of Kimi K2 are coming soon. Let's look at the benchmarks because they are stunning. This is a frontier level model. Here is Sui Bench Verified, Kimi K2 Instruct, beating DeepSeek, beating Quen, beating GPT-41, and coming in right behind Claude 4 Opus, really what is known as the best coding model on the planet. Sui Bench Multilingual, once again, beating all of those other models, coming right behind Cloud4 Sonnet. Live Codebench, it actually beats Cloud4 Opus. Gemini 2.5 Flash coming in at 53.7. OJ Bench beating all the other models on the list. Here's Amy 2025 for math, coming in number one above Cloud4 Opus and Gemini 2.5 Flash. And again, without a reasoning version. And GPQA Diamond coming in at number one, 75.1 above Cloud4 Opus and Gemini 2.5 Flash. I am so excited to test this model. And it is completely open source, open weights. The training process was open source. They're gonna be releasing a research paper on it soon. It is amazing. If you want Want the full set of benchmarks? Go to their Hugging Face card. They have everything here. Ader Polyglot, Ace Bench, Amy 2024, 25, Math 500, Polymath, GPQA Diamond, Humanities Last Exam, MMLU Pro, and so much more. And there are plenty of inference providers that are already loading this up and serving it. And if you want to get the most out of Kimi K2 and other models, you need to optimize your prompt engineering. And you could do that with Humanities Last Prompt Engineering Guide. Created by myself and my team, it is completely free and it teaches you all the best prompt engineering tips and tricks. Link in the description below. And you can also get inference through Kimi directly. It is 15 cents per million input tokens with a cash, 60 cents without a cash, and $2.50 per output tokens. The weights, the technical blog, and the GitHub page are all open and available right now. And if you just want to try it without the API, Kimi.ai. Try it immediately. So a few words from industry experts and AI leaders. Here's Sebastian Roshka. Kimi K2 is basically deep seek V3, but with fewer heads and more experts. And again, I just cannot wait till they actually give it chain of thought and reasoning ability. Yuchin Jin says, holy S, Kimi K2 was pre-trained on 15.5 trillion tokens using Muon Clip with zero training spike. 
They have officially scaled to one trillion parameter LLM level. Many doubted it could scale, but here we are. Didi says China just dropped the best open source model for coding and agentic tool use. Kimi K2 scores an insane 65.8 on Sweetbench Verified. It is as cheap as Gemini Flash at 60 cents per million input, 2.5 dollars per million output. And he gives an example. It one shots this data analysis task in Python and creates a website for a few cents. Look at that. Unbelievable. Hard Maru, every ML engineer's dream loss curve right there. It just goes down. No spikes, no interruptions. Here's another prompt. Here's an example of it. So the XAI headquarters right before releasing their biggest model, Grok 4 busy area, many people working in the large office. So this is Grok 3, this is Grok 4, and this is Kimi K2. It looks amazing. And Kimi K2 is now available on Open Router. So if you want to give it a try in that API, go ahead. It's ready. Ethan Mollick, Professor of Wharton, Kimi K2 seems to be a very good and giant and odd open weights model that may be the new leader in open LLMs. It is not beating the frontier closed models on my weird test, but it doesn't have a reasoner yet. And look at this. Ani Hunan got... Kimi K2 1 trillion model 4 bit quant to run on two 512 gigabyte M3 Ultras with MLX LM. So there we go, running and pretty quickly, I must say. Here's Cedric saying Kimi K2 one shotted Minecraft for the web that took me four days and six attempts to get Gemini 2.5 Pro. Wow. And of course, Pliny the Liberator once again jailbroke. So nothing is safe from Pliny. So that's it for today. If you want to see me test this model thoroughly, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.